Hello friends, myself Dr. Dinesh Budra. Today I am going to talk on one more landmark in dermatology, Morris Cohn Kaposi, who born in 1837 and died in the year 1902. Born in Hungary, Morris Cohn studied medicine in Vienna and on receiving his degree in 1861 was appointed assistant to noted Australian dermatologist Ferdinand von Hebra. He worked with Hebra from 1862 to 1867 and on his marriage to Hebra's daughter a catholic corn jew changed his name to caposi based on his blood birthplace caposi as a lecturer of dermatology he assisted hebra in the completion of his textbook of dermatology that was published in 1872 and after hebra's death in 1875 assumed the position in the university making it the it uh, it uh, leading school of dermatology in the last quarter of the 19th century in 1879 he was appointed the director of the skin clinic in vienna caposi described several skin disorders such as dermatitis herpetiformis lymphoedema uh, pernosia lichen rubra moniformis one of the early descriptions of the lupus erythematosus of the skin rhinoscleroma and rhinophyma In fact, many of the dermatological entities are associated with his name: lupus erythematosus, the Kaposi's sarcoma, uh, xeroderma pigmentosum, and several others. However, he was chiefly concerned about syphilis in the its skin lesions and mucosa, its etiology and treatment. A profile, a uh, prolific writer, he made numerous original contributions to the clinical dermatology. and published some 122 works on the subject his pathology and therapeutic uh, describes as a clinical pathological and therapeutic aspects of the dermatology caposi was conferred many honors and became a member of empirical order of empirical leopold and elected member of many national and international bodies so this is all about morris caposi who is one of the important landmark and dermatology